video, I want to help you to find the equation of a line through two points. There are actually multiple ways we can do this. However, if neither point is the y-intercept, then we have to find the slope first. We're going to find the equation of a line through the point 6, 2 and the point 4, 5 using several different methods. But the first thing I want us to do is find that slope. I'm going to write the points vertically from each other, so 6, 2 above the point 4, 5. The slope is going to be the change in y's over the change in x's. The change in y's is 5 minus 2, and the change in x's is 4 minus 6. Again, remember that whatever direction you subtract in for the y's, subtract in the same direction for the x's. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 4 minus 6 is negative 2, so we have a slope of negative 3 halves. Now we're going to use that slope, negative 3 halves, in the next three problems. To show you that there are a variety of ways to proceed from this point. First we're going to find the linear equation using point slope form and the point 6, 2. So let's start with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, that's the point slope form, and we're going to replace the value of y1 with 2, the second part of that coordinate point, and we're going to replace the value of x1 with 6, the first value of that coordinate point, and finally we'll replace the slope m with negative 3 halves. We have then y minus 2 equals negative 3 halves times x minus 6. Let's go ahead and simplify this so that we can, in the end, compare all of our equations. Let's do the distribution of negative 3 halves. That gives us y minus 2 on the left, no change there, equals negative 3 halves x. And then I need to do negative 3 halves times negative 6, and that's like a negative 6 over 1. That's a positive 18 halves, or just 9. So it's negative 3 halves x plus 9 on the right hand side. Finally, I'm going to add 2, so y minus 2 plus 2 equals negative 3 halves x plus 9 plus 2. That gives us y equals negative 3 halves x plus 11. Okay, we found the equation of the line. Now we're going to go through the same process, just using that other point. Instead of 6, 2, we're going to do it with 4, 5 instead. So let's go ahead and go back to y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Again, the y1 is going to be the 5, the second part of the coordinate point. The x1 is going to be the 4, the first part of the coordinate point, and the slope is that negative 3 halves. y minus 5 equals negative 3 halves times x minus 4. We'll do our distribution, so y minus 5 equals negative 3 halves x, and then we need to do negative 3 halves times negative 4, that's negative 4 over 1, that's a positive 12 over 2, which is 6, so we have negative 3 halves x plus 6 after the distribution. And finally, we need to move the negative 5, so to do that we're going to add 5 to both sides, that's y minus 5 plus 5 equals negative 3 halves x plus 6 plus 5, leaving us with y equals negative 3 halves x plus 11. Look at that, same result using the other point. That should make sense because both points are on the line. In this final example, we're going to use the slope-intercept form to find the equation of the line. Now, we have the slope, and we have an x and y value here. What we don't have is a b value, so normally we use this equation y equals mx plus b, and in this case we have a y of 2, we have an x of 6, we have a slope of negative 3 halves, and that would leave us with a b that's sitting there by itself. And we can solve for b and then use it to rewrite the equation. So let's do all the replacements. y is 2, so that's on the left is 2. mx would be negative 3 halves times 6. And then we'll have plus 
B. Make sure your B doesn't look like a 6, right? So now we have 2 equals negative 3 halves times 6 over 1 is going to be negative 18 halves or negative 9. So now we have 2 equals negative 9 plus B. And so to get the B by itself, let's just add 9 to both sides. So on the left we'll do 2 plus 9. And on the right we'll do negative 9 plus B plus 9, giving us 11 equals B. Now that's not the equation, but it is the b value we were missing. And now we have both b and the slope m. So if we go back to y equals mx plus b, we can just plug in the m and the b. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 11. And look, we're back at the exact same thing. So there really is more than one way to find the equation of the line going through two points. To recap, you are almost always going to have to find the slope first. The only exception is if you have the y-intercept as one of your points. And then you could use this last method using the y-intercept and x and y to find m first and then solve. Many students like this last method for solving because they only have to memorize one equation. But if you don't have to memorize your equations, if they're given to you, you might find that the point-slope method is a little bit more straightforward and routine.